Dave Palumbo here, and I want to talk to you guys about essential fatty acids. I think it's very important to understand fats in general before you really get into essential fats because there are three categories of fats essentially out there. One of them being saturated fats, which come predominantly from animal fats. That's the type of fats you get in red meat and you want to really stay away from. You don't want to eat too much of that because if you do, usually that leads to uh, coronary heart disease later in life. But the two fats that are super healthy for the body are what are called the unsaturated fatty acids, and there's two categories of those. Number one is the monounsaturated fats, which are the omega-9 fats you find in macadamia nut oil and extra virgin olive oil. And then you have the polyunsaturated fats, which are also known as the essential fatty acids. They're called essential fatty acids because, because the body cannot synthesize them on their own. You must ingest them. Just like there's essential amino acids, there's essential fatty acids. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't take in the right essential fatty acids. And what happens when you don't do that? Well, these essential fats are comprised in many different tissues in the body, specifically hormone production they're involved in. They're involved in muscle cell repair. So when you damage a muscle cell in the gym working out, the interior component of the cell is made up of protein, okay, protein fibers, and those need to be replaced by eating protein in your diet. But the outer portion of the cell, the cell membrane, is made of essential fatty acids predominantly, and you need to consume these fats to do that. If you don't consume enough essential fats uh, on a daily basis, not only will you be unhealthy, but the problem uh, with fat mobilization in the body will be greatly stalled. What does that mean? That means you're not gonna burn fat adequately. Why? Because your body senses that even though you might be taking in enough fats overall, you're not taking in enough essential fats so the body feels that it's deprived of fat and it will hoard fat. And in women's body, it will hoard it in their lower body, their hips and thighs and butt. In men, it will hoard it around the waist. Right? And that's the what we call the trouble areas. Well, I got a, a, a very good solution here for you. This is your insurance policy against fatty acid essential fatty acid uh, deficit. If you take my new Omegalyze, okay, three pills twice a day, you will never have to worry whether you're getting enough essential fatty acids. Now, what are the essential fatty acids? Well, there's two families of them, omega-3s and omega-6s. A lot of us have heard about omega-3s lately because people are so de deficient in the American diet of omega-3s that um, everyone is, is telling people to supplement with them. The problem is that the, it's the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio that's very important. So if you take too many of one, it usually throws the balance of the other off. Now, because the diet is so rich in omega-6s, especially what we call the pro-inflammatory omega-6s, the ones that incite inflammation in the body, the cooking oils, for instance, okay, the ones you find in red meat and in chicken, that a lot of times you could just almost take omega-3s and, and that will balance you off. But there are some good omega-6s that we don't get in our diet, and I'm going to talk about those in a little bit. But let's talk about the omega-3s. Most people have heard that flaxseed oil is the highest source of omega-3 fats. And you know what? To a certain degree, that is true. The parent omega-3 compound, okay, uh, known as alpha-lenolenic acid, is highest in found in flaxseed oil. The problem is that humans don't convert alpha-linolenic acid to the usable form of omega-3s, the form that we need to do things in our body. We don't convert it adequately, and we only convert it at 10% okay, efficiency. Whereas animals like uh, salmon that eat algae or uh, cows that eat grass, they convert these omega-3 parent compounds to a usable form very readily. So the best way to consume omega-3 fats as a human would be to consume an animal source of it. And the most readily available source of animal uh, omega-3 fats would be fish oil, okay? We use fish oil in omega -lice. Don't use an essential fatty acid that uses flaxseed oil because once again, the flaxseed doesn't convert to a usable form. The fish have converted the alpha-lenic acid to DHA and EPA, the omega-3 intermediates that do something in the body. So if you take 3,000 milligrams of fish oil a day, you will be completely given the right amount of omega-3 uh, that your body requires and usable form of it. Okay, now let's go to the omega-6s. The best form of omega-6, the, the one omega-6 fat that doesn't cause inflammation, that actually has anti-inflammation properties and health-inducing properties would be gamma-linoleic acid, GLA. And you find that in very high amounts in evening primrose oil. We fortified omega lies with 2,600 milligrams of evening primrose oil, okay? So when you take this product, not only are you getting the right amount of omega-3s, you're also getting the right amount of omega-6s and the right kind of 6s. That's the most important type, okay? The ones your body can't make, the ones it's very hard to get from your diet, okay? Now, if you eat 
fish wild caught salmon three times a day and you eat a lot of uh, uh, evening primrose oil in, uh, products that are laced with that, you might be okay, but it's kind of hard to do that. So here's your insurance policy against not getting it from your diet. Take three pills twice a day. Now we've also improved Omegalyze and as you can see, we've made Omegalyze advanced and what we've done to make it advanced is we've added another essential fat known as palmitoleic acid. It's omega-7 fat that's not considered uh, essential, it's conditionally essential, meaning that it has great health properties, but that your body kind of can make a little bit of it. So we've added enough of it here to do what it does best, which is number one, reduce inflammation. So if you go and get blood work at your doctor and you check your C-reactive protein levels, which are your markers of inflammation, they'll be much lower on palmitoleic acid. Also what it does is it makes you more it's insulin sensitive to insulin. What does that mean? That means if you're insulin resistant and you produce too much insulin in your body, which is a fat storage hormone that can make you fatter, this will reduce the insulin requirements that your body needs. In other words, you can absorb the same amount of carbohydrates with less insulin, which means less chance of getting fat, okay, or gaining body fat. So not only do we have a great essential fatty acid here, we also have uh, we also have an omega-7 derivative palmitoleic acid that will help you with insulin sensitivity and total body inflammation. So we got a health inducing product here that's good for you and it's an insurance policy against you ever getting sick and not getting your essential requirements out of your fats.